this video tutorial I will explain what is Kafka and how does uh, Kafka work. Apache Kafka is a distributed stream processing software and uh, it is developed by LinkedIn and uh, it is written in Scala and Java and uh, first component of uh, Kafka is uh, Kafka broker or uh, Kafka server and uh, default port of uh, Kafka broker is 9092. Here you can see the producer which uh, produces the content and uh, publish the content to the broker. Then uh, here you can see the consumer which uh, consumes the content from the broker and uh, producer connects to the broker using a TCP connection. That is a raw TCP connection. So it is bidirectional. So the broker can uh, send information to the producer and the producer can send information to the broker. The consumer connects to the broker using a TCP connection. So the broker can send information to the consumer. And here you can see the topics. Topics are nothing but it is a logical partition where you write the content to. When the producer writes, the producer has to specify in which topic it has to write. And consumer has to specify from which topic the consumer wants to consume the messages. Here you can see the user topic inside Kafka broker. In user topic, we can store user names. And here you can see the producer. Suppose say the producer publish the user name Peter to user topic. Then the name Peter will be stored in user topic in zeroth index position. Next producer publish username John to user topic. Then John will be stored in user topic in first index position. Like that, whenever producer publish username to user topic, the username will be appended with corresponding indexes. Here you can see the consumer. If this consumer wants to consume username from user topic, then consumer has to subscribe to user topic. Once it is subscribed, then consumer can first consume the username Peter from user topic. Then it can consume the username John from user topic. Like that, it will keep on consuming other usernames from user topic. In case of Kafka, the consumer pulls the messages from topic. In this case, the consumer pulls uh, username from user topic. Suppose say this producer sends uh, millions of usernames to user topic. Then this user topic will uh, keep on growing and uh, it will become uh, larger and larger. And uh, in one day it will create a problem. This kind of situation, what we will do it in databases, we will do sharding. In case of database, the customers from uh, 1 to 100,000 will be stored in database A and uh, customers from uh, 100,000 1 to 200,000 will be stored in database B and uh, if I want uh, customer number uh, 100,500 then it is in database B then uh, I have to connect to database B to get the data and uh, if I want to get uh, customer number 7 it will be there in database A and I have to connect to database A to get the customer detail. Why we are using sharding is if a large number of data is there in a single database then the query will become slower. To avoid that we have to use this kind of sharding concept. Same way in Apache Kafka we can use partitions. It is same like sharding. We will see what it is. In user topic, there are two partitions. Partition 1 and partition 2. The username starts with A to M will go in partition 1. And username starts with N to Z will go in partition 2. So once partition is introduced, the publisher has to specify in user topic in which partition the username has to go. So because of uh, these partitions, the data is uh, distributed 
and we achieved scalability and each partition will grow independently. Here we will see what is Q and what is PubSub. In case of Q, message published once and consumed once. In case of PubSub, message published once and consumed many times. Kafka supports both Q and PubSub using a consumer group concept. We will see what it is. To achieve parallel processing, consumer group has been introduced. Here you can see the consumer group and the consumer group name is group 1 and it has only one consumer. If only one consumer is there, then this consumer will consume usernames from partition 1 and partition 2 and all these usernames will be consumed only once. So this is the example of Q. Here you can see in consumer group there are uh, two consumers. Consumer 1 will be responsible for consuming uh, usernames from partition 1 and uh, consumer 2 will be responsible for consuming uh, usernames from partition 2. In Apache Kafka, there is a rule. Each partition has to be consumed by one and only one consumer. We can have one consumer consuming uh, two partitions or three partitions or four partitions. That is fine, but uh, within the same group, one consumer can consume messages from only one partition. That is the rule. And uh, to act like a queue, we have to put uh, all the consumers in one group. In this scenario, the username Arun will be consumed only once by consumer 1 because uh, consumer 1 is responsible for partition 1. And... Uh, the username Arun won't be consumed by consumer 2 because uh, consumer 2 is responsible for partition 2. So, the message is consumed only once. So, this is the example of uh, Q. Here you can see consumer group 1. It has uh, two consumers, consumer 1 and consumer 2. Here you can see consumer group 2. It has uh, only one consumer which is consumer 3. And consumer 1 is responsible for consuming messages from partition 1. And consumer 2 is responsible for consuming messages from partition 2. And consumer group 2 has only one consumer, which is consumer 3. So it is responsible for consuming messages from both the partitions, partition 1 and partition 2. Here you can see the username Arun which is published by the producer only once and this username will be consumed by consumer 1 as well as consumer 3. So the same username is published once but consumed many times. So this is the example of PubSub. So to act like PubSub, we have to put each consumer in a unique group. Because of multiple consumers in the same group, the messages can be consumed and processed parallelly. So this will improve the performance. In Apache Kafka, same partition can be consumed by different consumers in a different consumer group. That is allowed and it is fine.
you can get uh, java source code link for uh, each video from the description section of the video and uh, here you can see the video and uh, to see the description click on this uh, more and uh, here you can see the description and uh, here you can see the links and uh, click on this links to get the java source code